Let's discuss the square roots and cube roots of integers. Let's start with just cube root of 8. Remember, when I'm asking you for the cube root of a number, cube root of 8 in this case, I'm asking you what, when multiplied by itself three times, will give me 8 as the answer. So here, obviously it is 2, because 2 times 2 times 2 is going to give me 8 as the answer. In this next one, all I'm saying is I want the negative of that square, of that cube root. So I just want to take the cube root and then make it negative. Well, the cube root I've just worked out is 2, and then I just need to make that negative. So here the answer is negative 2. This one, however, is a bit different. I'm asking what is the cube root of negative 8. So what I'm asking is what multiplied by itself three times is going to give me negative 8 as the answer. And hopefully you can see that it will be negative 2 because negative 2 times negative 2 gives you positive 4 and then positive 4 times negative 2 will give you negative 8. This final one here is just saying, I want the negative of this thing. I want the negative of this cube root. We've already worked out that this cube root is negative 2. So what they're saying is I want the negative of negative 2, which is just going to be positive 2. Now if we move on to square roots, well, what does the square root of 9 mean? We're asking what multiplied by itself gives me 9 as the answer. And hopefully that's very easy. The answer is 3. In this next one, again, we just want the negative of that square root of 9. Well, we've just worked out the square root of 9 is 3, and we just want the negative of that. So this is just negative 3. Now, this is where things get interesting. When I'm asking for the square root of negative 9, I'm asking what multiplied by itself is going to give me negative 9 as the answer. Well, it can't be 3, right? Because 3 times 3 gives me 9. So maybe it's negative 3. But negative 3 multiplied by negative 3, negative times negative is positive, and that gives me positive 9. There's no way I'm going to have something multiplied by itself and end up with a negative. Because a negative times a negative is a positive, and a positive times a positive is a positive. There's no way I'm going to get out a negative answer. And so this means that the square root of negative 9 is undefined. We cannot take the square root of a negative number. And so then, obviously, if we were looking at what's the negative of the square root of negative 9, well, the square root of negative 9 is undefined, so this thing is also undefined. We cannot take the square root of a negative number if we're working in the real number system.